of Bet or Forget. I'm Brittany Taylor. He's Wayne Hawks. And Wayne, huge news. The potential sale of Rose Hill could earn the racing industry $5 billion. This is the biggest story ever. Bet or Forget? Bet. No doubt it's the biggest story ever. I wasn't around when Farlep died. I wasn't around for the Big For Loose saga with the Melbourne Cup. All of these things were obviously national news, but this is bigger than Ben-Hur, let me tell you. What about this then? This deal is going to make racing New South Wales so wealthy that the other states and territories won't be able to keep up. Bet or forget? 1,000% bet. They're talking about $5 billion. Cutting it down, they're saying they're going to spend $2 billion on infrastructure and put and park $3 billion in the bank. What other race club in the world would have three billion in the bank? I reckon um, Maidan might with Sheikh Mohammed backing it, mm -hmm. but you'd need something like that. This will be the richest race club in the world. What about the other states? They should follow suit and reduce their metropolitan tracks. Bet or forget? Well, that's a, that's a real tough one, that is, because I'm going to give you no answer for this one, and I'll tell you why. We don't want to just go selling off all of our assets unless we're going to turn our assets into other assets. So many race clubs around the country in the last hundred years have sold off their assets to fix up the balance sheets and things like that. Now they're back to, back to zero with no money. Be careful what you wish for, but yes, we do need to consolidate. There's no doubt about that. We have way too many of everything, whether it's marketing departments, CEOs, committees, we need to consolidate. We're in the year 2023. The biggest thing we didn't do during COVID was we didn't consolidate at all. Some businesses have turned their, their own industry upside down. With the racing industry, because we had such a great platform and we're the only show in town, we just rolled on as, as it was per normal. We need to reshape our industry for future generations. With a brand new training facility, trainers from other states will be wanting to hop the border and train out of New South Wales. Bet or forget. Bet. There's no doubt about it. There has to be interstate trainers talking right now thinking, I have to be part of New South Wales racing. It's the only game in town that's flying. But I'm going to go one step further. What about one of these boys from the UK? One of these people from Ireland? They might come over and have a satellite stable here in Australia. And what that'll do is that'll stop all the hoo-ha about the Melbourne Cup and everything like that. So why can't William Haggis or John Gosden or any of these great famous named trainers have a satellite stable set up in Australia? Now that's racing. Trainers will be better off with new facilities at Horsley Park. Bet or forget? I'm going to say bet, but... We need to get it right. Rose Hill is a proven training facility. We've trained the Winxes, the Chautauquas, the Might and Powers, and I've forgotten 20 other champions. Going to a new facility, it's all brand new, virgin land. We can build whatever we want. We must get it right. But gee whiz, putting my personal hat on here, I'm smiling because that's going to be a fair bit of fun to be involved with the uh, with the design and the construction. I hope they listen to me, Britt. <laughs> Here's one for you, Britt. The Imperatrice team have taken the soft option and decided not to go to Royal Ascot. Bet or forget? Forget. I don't think that makes it the soft option. I think we've got the best sprinters in the world in Australia. And yeah, but if you want to be an international superstar, maybe they don't. But if you do, you need to take on the world because coming from New Zealand to Australia doesn't count. They wouldn't go to Sydney for an Everest worth 20 million. They're not going to fly across the world to go to Royal Ascot. She goes to a Lightning, a William Reed, and a TJ. They're not easy races to win. No lucky swayness is there. I don't. Th you look at a horse like Wink. She didn't travel, and she's still the greatest. I just, I don't think it's absolutely necessary. I wouldn't call it a soft option just because they've chosen not to go. And on that note, that's the final bet or forget. Thanks for arguing with me all year, Wayne. It was my pleasure doing that, and hope everyone had a bit of fun in doing it. So, Merry Christmas to you and Happy New Year, Britt. And to you too, and everybody watching. Imagine what you could be buying instead. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.